The Curiosity rover set out to answer a big question. Could Mars have supported ancient life? Now we know the answer, but there's still so much more to learn. To help NASA's Curiosity rover safely explore the surface of Mars, engineers here on Earth use a nearly identical sibling named Maggie. This full-scale engineering model helps the team practice operations in the Mars yard at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. I'm Raquel Villanueva, here with Curiosity Deputy Project Scientist Abigail Freeman. Her team is celebrating their 10th year on the Red Planet. Where has the rover traveled to in the past decade? Well, we've spent the last basically 10 years Martian mountain climbing. Curiosity landed at the base of a big mountain named Mount Sharp that is made of layers of rocks. So we're climbing the mountain to give us a snapshot of Martian history. We've driven about 17 and a half miles, and more impressively, we've climbed over 2,000 feet in elevation up the mountain. We're all the way up in these hills now. It's pretty spectacular. With all that climbing, how is Curiosity doing? Pretty good, actually. You know, all of our science instruments are working just about as good as they did when we landed. We have nearly our full capabilities. The arm and the drill and the rover, they're a little bit arthritic, so we have to be a little bit gentle when we use them. And our wheels are a little bit beat up. The wheels on Maggie look great, but we have some, some test wheels that we've really destroyed. The wheels on the rover are somewhere between these two. You know, we just drilled our 35th sample the other week, so still doing amazing science. And how do you decide where the rover is going to go? Do you work with other NASA missions? You know, the data from the Mars orbiters have been really helpful. The spectrometers, that's the kind of instrument on, on Odyssey and Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, have told us where the interesting minerals are and where the best places to go to look at changing environments are. And then in particular, the cameras on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, they're so good and they're so helpful at allowing us to find the safest way that we can climb this mountain. What would you say is the biggest discovery your team has made? You know, Curiosity was sent to Mars in order to answer a really big question. Did Mars have all of the ingredients that we know life needed? And 10 years later, not only have we given that answer a definitive yes, but we've also seen that those ingredients were around for tens of millions of years. And what's next for Curiosity? We can see from orbit that we're getting to a place in the mountain that likely records a pretty dramatic change in the sorts of environments that were around. You know, the lakes that once filled gale started to dry out and we're getting to that period in time. So we're really interested in answering how long did these habitable environments persist as Mars and Gale Crater went through these pretty big climate changes. I just can't wait to see what's next. We've seen hints that the rocks are gonna be very different very soon. And so I'm really curious what we're gonna find. It's, well, that is an exciting new chapter for you and congratulations on 10 years. Thanks, Abigail. Thanks so much. To get the latest updates, follow at NASA JPL and at NASA Mars on social media or take a deeper dive on the mission websites at mars.nasa.gov.